Hello, folks, and welcome to a continuation of my hurricane party here in Pomtona Beach, Florida, where I am the one, the only Hobo Tom. I'm having a, a party because I have the Hawaiian shirt out. It's also a wrestling gig, so therefore I'm wearing my, one of my wrestling t-shirts. Um, a lot of news happening. Well, a lot of kind of fun stuff happened tonight on Monday Night Raw. Um, I am taking a little 90 day break from live streaming. Very so often, again, I do do something I probably shouldn't. I figured with what I did with AAA, I could get away with it again. I know they were doing things on Twitch. Twitch, obviously, AEW is not doing stuff on Twitch, and WWE wants their money, wants my money more than I want my money for some reason. So, but again, I can thank all. I think 1,700 people that viewed, at least for a while, my showing of AEW. So let's see here. So to do that, wow, I just have a whole list to go through. This is going to be a somewhat, somewhat long show. I do have to be done by midnight because I have to go Hobie before it, before it gets back. Please here. Um, where do I start off? Okay, I'd like to thank all those who left a comment, and if I get your name wrong, tough. I'd like to thank all those in the chat that made it a little bit more exciting. Alex Johnson, Matthew Johnson, Devin the New Fire Boy, I drawn HTS out of you -ish. 209. Number one. Laugh a belter, Grandma Giggles. And thank you, Samuel Tweeg, Video Sensei, Michael Simpson, Crystal Colbert, Kuali Samo, Brent22. Name before. Brent22, thank you very much. Honest opinion, thank you. And also thank you to Joe Silvero 420, Javier Ramos, Dark Crystal, Lucky S, Christian Gillis, Jorge Michael Brunel, Tim Scott, J Main 80, Dovin Buggy Dove. Oh, you have weird names. Again, thank you to. Tugtley Bait Momo, Hano Bailey Dash One, TGB, TGB, thank you for having a short name, Stuart Heckman Eight, Nick Morton, Jared Feldor Seven Seven Three as Life, Matt Haas, David Watson, Budio. I don't think they'd be watching. Someone else named Xavier Games actually subscribed. I just doubt Biggie and Xavier Woods are actually watching this. And I know that's not their real names either. Let's see here. Dustin Dewey. Sean. Zolko. Rawman, I know I'm butchering that name. I do apologize again. Thank you though. Uh, let's see here. Wan X09, Joffy Genie. Almost done. Well, third of the way there at least. Vasner again, Big Dog, Dumb Squad, Filmus, Daniel Donahue. Beast Mode, Dustin Day, Russell Packard, Wade Watts, Pretty B Prince, Doty XL, Solari Saint, Jimmy! Jimmy, thank you! You don't realize how easy it is to say just one name than a whole bunch of stuff. 
I'm Brent Willis, Richards, Jan Paulo, Emo Sad Boy, Rye Guy, Rye Gay, I don't know. Michael Lisos, DJG. Thank you. Also, thanks to Thad, Almgrud, Walter Johnson, Sean. Harian, Pad, Olmustard, Putin, Anket, what's your that? Philip Kiney, Ooh, Lacey, Rawtor, what's your that? Deja, thank you. Keep it nice and simple. Brad Ov o Ovo, Alex RC, Silsler Bach eighty eight, Sean Morin, Ninjago nine, Footmark, Hockey Guy twenty five, Hockey Guy twenty five. Thank you very much. Way done, folks. This is going to be the longest part of the show is all the thank yous. Javier Ramos. Sponsor Moonen. Mars Laftor. Daniel D. Howe. CTMXD426. Huey Slaughter. Ryan Sting. Ryan Sting, thank you very much. Tim Scott, again, thank you for having something simple. Juan C. Negalioni Rivera. Again, thank you. Eli, again, thanks, still so got to Eli Grimes. Tina Shani Code. Crash 9i. Crash 9i, thank you. Keep it nice and simple. Theo. Lathorn, Dub Squad Films. I always like when I can read names and I understand what, what it is. I'm not trying to figure things out. Thank you. Vladimir D. Again, thank you very much. Pretty simple. Dazzle92. Again, thank you very much. Molly M3. Thank you. Just kicking it. I'm just kicking it too. Matthew Lopez. Crafts. McDonald, Keith Lewis, Redux, Harry, Alpha Omega. I know that. Thank you. Charles, Jerusoa, Frank Cost, HB86. Thank you very much. You keep it simple. Uh, Yoda Tmeg. God King 23, thank you. Stu Love Wolf, thank you very much for commenting. Um, Juanito 13G, thank you. Bobby Miller, and thanks to all these people. Ina Close, NT5150, Joe Colo, Millie Nig, thank you. I am Picotoy. Got that one wrong. Thank you. I do apologize. WebBips GC. Ava Counter. Diner. Quote, butt pod. Quote sign, quote sign. By Dan Kareeman. Too long. But thank you, though, for your comments. Woo 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 woo! I like that nice and simple. Rise, thank you. TJ Fong, thank you. Acido Rubio, thank you. I wonder if people are tuning this just to see what I'll say. Kips, Black Kit, Rihanna Rowling, thank you. Another name I can almost understand. 
Alex Lane, do thank you. Danielle Capitano. Rizano Vela. Sonny. Pinboy? I don't know what I do. Dale! Thank you. Again, keep it nice and simple. That's always good. I already said you. No, Milky Mink, here's a shout out to you. I think I said Jory. Uh, that's okay. Mannequin something. Hans. Hellerman. Hellerman. Thank you guys so much for all of your comments. And if you subscribed. A little special something for you. Wow, that's interesting. It's going to be 10 minutes. This will be probably a 40 minute video. That's not too bad. Okay, let's see here. Shannon Screen. You are the lucky recipient of being told to walk. Wait, don't walk. Run! Adjunct Panographs. Guess what? You just saw Nikki Cross to take it off. Portland Maid, you are doing some kung fu fighting. Jason Mikulowski? Oh, my F and G. Beloved one. I wrote Perania. I hope Nikki Cross can pronounce your name better because you're her tag team partner. Alvin Colon, you're going through some Mundo Madness.
Angie! You are the luchador on the for forklift, aren't you? Ian Sands, I know you've been looking at Jordan's booty. Oh my God, Becky, look at her butt. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You awesome ass ass, holy shit. What are you doing here? Connor Lachance, you are a true member of the El Generico Band. Andre Gadsden, better start crawling out of Florida. There's a hurricane coming. <laughs> Games Miracle, just like me, you're playing your briefcase beatbox. Also like Brock. Steel City Fan 0806. You, sir, have the best air drum solo ever.
And then Sunny Bimbo. I don't know. I'm sorry. You, you, you get started tomorrow. It's Martikai. You, sir, just got that six count. And for the most part, that's all these things I can do now. I will be continuing my thank yous tomorrow as well as Friday. And there's some other business to attend to. Let's see here. Wow. NXT TakeOver, I had some terrible predictions. I was only two out of six. I did get kind of my bonus right because I, I, I knew Cesaro was going to show up. Get a match. I did get the match the night right because that was Dave Mass. That was um no, that was the Kiwi Buzzsaw. Travis Banks fell to the Scottish Supernova No M Dar. That was the match the night. Therefore, I'm just another mark in the crowd. I did do much better for AEW. I was. 7 out of 10. Oh, wow. I did call the Stone Cold Lock, the Snooze, and the Match of the Night. Whoa. So 7 out of 10 plus that. Trust me, Triple H must have been on that phone to Cody. He told him what to do. Therefore, I'm in the head of one Hunter Hearst Helmsley. And you too can get a little video dedication. I just have no clue what, what time that will go up. Um, I think it's going to be back to the old way of doing it by leaving me a comment or subscribing or sending me an email. Uh, unless I'm doing a super huge show where if I have a thousand plus people, it's only going to be people that subscribe. 
and I'll just kind of give you a verbal shout out and and thank you, and and it, and it cheers for leaving your comments. So with that, that's talk about some Monday Night Raw. So this this is there's still this was the Raw after AEW, and a lot of people said that. There's going to be some changes. There were no changes. The only big change that I saw is that things got more New Japanish. And I'll talk about that as I go on. So let's see. So we start off the night talk, uh, in the ring as Braun Strowman and Seth Rollins. We're going to have a contract signing. Wow. Why don't they te televise my contract signing? Wait, why don't I sign any contracts? I need to sign a contract. That's neither here nor there. But AJ Styles comes out with the club. AJ Styles is like, I'm a U.S. champion. Where's my match? I'm just going to get involved with this match until someone comes out and looks at my belt. Because obviously that's the way things are done here. It's not like New Japan where you just say, I, ch I challenge you for your belt. In the WWE, you just have to stare at one's belt, and therefore you get, you get to challenge for it. And this led to the first match of the night, a tag team match, Seth and Braun Strowman versus the club. And for a while, this was this was actually pretty fun. It was uh, small versus small, where you had Seth versus Carl Anderson, the machine gunner. And then, of course, Carl Anderson tagged in Luke Gallows. And Gallo says, bring in Braun. So you had small and small, big and big. It was kind of fun. Uh, oh, I still like, whenever they, whenever they do it, it's just it's just so nostalgic. The, the double axe handle with the, the tag team partner holding the guy's arm out stretch. I mark out for that all the time. Uh, AJ Styles was just kind of running around for a little bit. I'll tell you what, once he actually saw Braun, so AJ Styles did get involved a little bit on the outside. Once he saw Braun, AJ Styles took off. He can he can still move pretty quick. It was kind of a classic WWE match. Uh, Carl Anderson, he knows how to use momentum, but unfortunately, so does Seth. And Carl Anderson got got the roll up loss. Sorry. Uh, so Seth and Braun went over, and really a cheeseburger match. But then it went all bonkers. Um, AJ eventually did get the ring bell out. AJ just decided to go all new Japan pro wrestling on everyone. Uh, Braun then just like took out everyone, including his partner Seth. Be interesting to see how that tag team match goes at Class of Champions. Uh, then Ziggler and Rue got involved, and Braun just started to eat magic killers. And overall, again, it was a fun match, though. And then in the back, AJ Styles smashes Cedric Arms for some reason. He just wants to fight someone. He figured, I'm not going to sit in a room. I'm just going to go out here and just, just beat people up. Makes sense. Uh, then the next match was Rude and Z uh, Robert Rude and Dolph Ziggler takes on Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder. Woo, woo, woo. Uh, this was a fun match. Hawkins actually is pretty good. The crowd, for whatever reason, was just dead. Baltimore might have been spent. No, wait, nothing happened in Baltimore. That was Chicago. The next pay per view is in Baltimore. Or AEW. The crowd just seemed dead for this match. They were so excited to see the club in Asia, Seth and Braun. They just kind of. This, this, was, this was their popcorn match. I don't blame them. Um, Hawkins and Ryder? They know how to tag team wrestle, and so, do, so does a, a Rude and Ziggler. Rude and Ziggler got the better of it. They picked up the win with that kind of combo thing they do again, which is pretty cool. Just the, the crowd gave me nothing to cheer about. The wrestlers, yeah, I'm like, oh, that, that was good. But it did nothing for me. 
It's just a ham sandwich. <laughs> Another match that didn't do anything for me was Lacey Evans and Natalia. There was a, some breakout bosh because Lacey Evans was coming down for ring. She's carrying her, her little parcel there. Maddie runs and literally like stops right before she runs into the back of Lacey Evans. Lacey Evans then turns around and then Natalia runs her over. Like, Really? You can't just miss that parcel she's holding? Like, does Lacey Evans do this to all the women wrestlers? Where they, like, for some reason, all of a sudden forget how to wrestle? Or is it just Lacey Evans and, I don't know, Charlotte? Charlotte, every so often, when she's really not interested in the match, she is the one who just phones it in and says, you know what, just give me my money. I want to go home. Or I want to go, 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 go to Mexico and be surrounded by Latin. Well, that's not really that much better. Well, that's why. There we go. I figure I'm not used to wearing a shirt like this with this microphone. But this match was okay. Um... Against Natalia, Natalia is that much of a professional where she can actually make Lacey look good when she really isn't good. Lacey still has a great looking twist, that um, springboard twist moonsault, which is just, she makes it look like a thing of beauty, but the way she lands, she looks like she's going to either kill herself or, or kill the other person one day. She always looks like she lands across like the knees of someone. That can't be good. I know we saw... Casey Castellius asked for a release or just qu or actually just quit NXT and I think she was complaining about vertebrae disc problems. I don't know. Uh, she's supposed to be flexible and everything. And then for some I know that I know this isn't WWE, but Kylie Ray, the coked up Bailey, was actually better than Bailey. Just got re just asked for her release and was granted a release from AEW. I saw her in the one match. She looked fine. I mean, nothing special. I don't know what. AEW's plans were for her. There's a little bit of the news though, but then going back to Lacey Evans and Natalia, <laughs> I don't know what Corey Grace said, but but Renee was getting annoyed with him because 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 Renee just told told Graves to shove it. Graves is so good at getting under Renee. That's uh, Natalia. I don't know. She just. I don't know if she got conked the wrong way, but Lacey, like, pulled her head up, like, at the three count. And that whole ending sequence was right before the woman's right, which actually hit her, like, square on the neck. It just looked awkward. I'll give Natalia credit. She's been in the ring a lot. I mean, she's had her father train her. Half that trainer. She has her uncle. She has her great uncle, I guess. Do heart. Tyson Kidd. What else is there? At one time, I'm, I'm sure she hung out with Uncle Owen. Aunt Maru. No, just Uncle Owen. Um, who's the other heart? I always forget. I know there's another one. I'm sure she spent time with a British bulldog. So, I like to say it's not Natalia, 
But Lacey Evans is just not all there for some reason. Again, Lacey Evans should never have been called up. That's my own opinion. Though. Then there's a Daniel Bryan Roman Reigns in, uh, recap of what's going on. Uh, Becky and Sasha promo. Yeah, whatever. Uh, Street Profits were there again. They're pretty fun. Then a really fun match. Baron Corbin versus Cedric Alexander. Corbin's quick, which is pretty good for his size. He's also quick and brutish. Uh, <laughs> Corbin had Cedric. Oh, Corbin tried the Dean Ambrose kind of, kind of rope bounce back there. Whoa! That's what happens when I'm not used to wearing shirts like this. Or actually, one day, you need to get... I don't know if this is... So you go back in the pocket. There you go. I just have to fix that better one day. That needs that needs more tape. Actually, I have to find another one. Because I can't afford the $44 one yet. Especially on this backwards monetization route. I'm going. Sure. Actually, I'll put it back here on the t-shirt. Where I normally put it. There we go. That sounds a little bit better. Technical issues, folks. Oh, he's had technical issues. Oh! There was that, too. What the heck was wrong with me today? My hurricane party day, I guess. I'll fix that. Put that up later. Hopefully it stays for a while. Um, oh, I can always put it in. I wonder if, it, I wonder if this would be any better. Yes, this is what goes on here in the Hobo Studios. Very, very Hobo-ish. There we go. That was pretty decent. Not that far away from the wall. Just have to speak up a little bit. That does sound terrible. What's this? Yes, I should have figured this out beforehand. That sounds good. Yeah, that's a lot better. Sounding. So, um... This match was actually really fun. Uh, Corbin tried the Dean Ambrose kind of bounce back. Larry thing didn't work. And whoa, Cedric Alexander. He got hung in like a reverse tree of woe. He was hanging from the outside. And Baron Corbin just would take his head like a tether ball. Bonk against the ring post. Bonk again against the ring post. That was good. Uh, Cedric, he was selling that arm the whole way. No matter what, I don't care who does it. Arn Anderson still has one of the best spine busters ever. Uh, and the crowd, again, they're just, they're like chanting things. Corbin sucks. He really, really sucks. They were just being evil. I think they were just kind of bored and just wanted an excuse, especially after the past couple of matches. They just wanted an excuse to do something. I don't blame them for uh, then the deep six is still a signature move. It's obviously not a finisher. Cedric Alexander. Oh, he he just he was going after that shoulder. Then a Baron Coleman ramming him shoulder first in the ring post to every corner. That was pretty good. Uh, what else? Did he do? Cedric really carried this match because normally Baron Corman is not known for his in ring generalship. But I'll tell you what, Cedric's really darn good. And with Corbin there following the lead, I mean, he obviously did hit his finisher at the end of days. And Baron Corbin went over. And I'll tell you what, it was a fun surf and turf match. Hey! See, everything, a little, every little motion. Goes that Michael over the place. One big sneeze won't though. Then uh, it's a Daniel Bryan, Roman, and and Rowan recap again. A Bailey interview. She no sells the inter the interviewer. <laughs> and 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 still, we'll see what happens. Loves Sasha Banks, or Sasha Banks still loves. Bailey. Uh, something was wrong with Spencer, sorry. Then you had Tyler and Hastings 
Two jobbers against Viking Experience Squash Match. Piece of toast. Viking Raiders win. Toast. Been there, done that, seen it a couple times already. Not fun. I do want to see more right along with the Viking Raiders. When I saw the Viking Raiders and Logan, they seemed really genuine. Whereas Seth and Becky felt like they were like reading their, their scripts. Again, best wishes and good luck with Seth and Becky. I guess they're nerdy enough where they'll stay together. But you never know. Hey, Becky. I'm still single too, though. Just to let you know. And then it was Samoa Joe versus, versus Ricochet. And this was awesome. Oh, um, well, it was, it was a funny line. I guess that the, the Elvis, the Honky Tonk Men look like I call them Baltimorean, moron, Baltimoreans. Ooh, he, he had his cheap key. I wonder who wrote that line. Actually, he probably, now that I'm thinking about that. Um, Samoa Joe versus Ricochet. This was fun. The headbutt on the wrist! Yes! 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 Delirious! <laughs> Princess Peach is a tramp! Honestly, channeling the spirit of the Ring of Honor! Delirious! Yes! <laughs> HDTV! Gotta like Delirious. One of the best most entertaining matches I've ever seen. Seen from when he was in Shikara. Who else? Not Magnum TA. Silas Young. But this morning doesn't even have the brains to wear shoes into a ring. I think he was in the New Japan Battle Royal. He was in the Battle Royal of Honor. Who, by the way, Colt Cabana, he should just win all of those. But that's a lot of things. But again, he did the headbutt to the wrist. I like that. Joe, again, he's a striker. Starts to focus on the leg of Ricochet so he can't fly. Again, that's flying somersault by Ricochet. King Ricochet. Prince Puma. Uh, what was it then? Oh, then that knee buster. Once I saw that, I'm like, are we going to see a muscle buster? Ooh, we haven't seen a muscle buster in a long time. Yes! Uh, you never know, though. And then you don't know who covered who because Samoa Joe put the Coquina Clutch on Ricochet on the top rope. They both kind of fell off. They both kind of cover each other. We got to fell the death to finish, baby! And this is Raya. I don't think I've ever done this. That that steak with a little Raya and fill of a lobster tail, I got me a crab cake. Because what we got here, folks, is a surf and turf Baltimore style. Oh, and by the way, King, King Joe sounds great. He can drop the Samoa Joe part. King Joe's all he needs. Um, there was more about Braun and Seth. Uh, I think there was a Firefly Funhouse recap, too. Kind of like cut off weird though. It's like Kevin Dunn pushed the wrong buttons again. Uh, then we got some resolutions. So it's going to be a triple threat in the finals next week. So it'll be Samoa Joe versus Ricochet versus Baron Corbin. Whoever wins that goes on. That's good because that means Samoa Joe and Ricochet won't look weak. Because Baron Corbin would eat the pen. And neither of those two would necessarily lose. Then there's a Rey Mysterio promo. Yeah, it was okay. Uh, the Miz versus Cesaro. This is kind of confusing because I know Cesaro on Saturday was in Cardiff. That means he probably had to catch the red eye to get back to the States Sunday to be ready for Monday. Or at least that's what I would have done because I know there's some jet lag time. Involved. I don't, I don't know how they do it. Again, even if I 
thing if I ever did want to be, and I talked about how very briefly for, I think, a week thought about becoming an, a, a pro wrestler and realized that just the indie wrestling schedule would just freaking break me. That and I was going for my master, so I was still in school. I had to have a job. That means I had to go to wrestling school, travel Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday to wrestling matches. Too much. I don't know how Cesaro does it. Although the Europeans, for some reason, seem to be really good with time zones, even better than Americans are. I know if, I know if you put me in like, like South Dakota, I'd be like, ah, I wouldn't know what time it was. I wouldn't know what time it was. I'm sure I get used to it, but this was a good match. Um, I just don't know how Cesaro can do this stuff. So. Cesaro, we're not worthy. We're not worthy. Uh, it was a classic WWE match. Uh, Cesaro did try for the dirty pin. He grabbed the rope. I said, hey, you can't hang on to the rope. Uh, Miss tried to roll him up. And then out of nowhere, there's a skull crushing finale. But she got Cesaro, so I guess they're trying to build Miz up. So now he's made people tap to the figure four. And he's pulled the skull crushing finale out of nowhere. This was a good match. It was just short. That's a ham. And then we have. Nikki Cross and Lexa Bliss taking on Bailey versus Becky Lynch. So what I call this is a five feet of friendship versus a B and B. Yep. And I'll tell you what, that bottom on Alexa Bliss keeps on going down five centimeters each show. Eventually, one day. Let's see her wax line. We'll see. Let's see, well, part of the open. Um. So with that, Alex, Alex did a force bump. I'm not a fan of that. You know what? You can just fall. You don't have to do the full like somersault oversell job. Uh, Sasha Banks then showed up. Becky Lynch was furious. Bailey's like, Bela, we actually have a match. Uh, Bailey in the tree of woe and took a headbutt to the belly. Headbutt to, to Bailey belly. That's funny. N Nikki Cross is great. I'm glad she has some kind of champion. Uh, then there's. Again, just Bliss has such a tiny little bottom. Though. Eventually, one day something's gonna slip out. Oh, although I did swear, I saw I saw Outer Labia on Lacey Evans. Lacey Evans has another one of those taint strap problems where it seems to be a little, instead of being like like this, it seems to be a little more like this. One day, some I think. Vanessa Bourne, I still to this day swear I saw Outer Lady with, with one of her outfits. Then she changed her outfits, though. Neither here nor there. Uh, uh, Becky Lynch eventually does get the hot tag, hot tag but it's enough to finish, baby! I won't even say Lux Bliss and Nikki Cross lose, more than, no more than Becky just got beat up. And again, it was kind of short. I knew eventually this was going to happen. They had about ten minutes left after the commercial break. I'm like, this is going to be a seven-minute minute match. I was close. So it was a five-minute match. Or at most it was seven minutes of, of wrestling. I'm sure there might have been. I think actually it was 20 minutes, but I said this is going to be a 10-minute match because Sasha's going to get involved. I called it, though. Um... Sasha gets involved, starts to beat up Becky, brings a chair up, beats Becky with it a little bit, and then Bailey. Becky went for that back. Uh, Sasha Banks for the for that back swing. Bailey caught the chair. She stared at Sasha Banks, her lover. Stared at Becky, and just began to waylay the back of Becky's back. We now have evil heel belly. Evil heel Bailey, and the crowd saying yes, 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 and I'm saying yes, 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 because this show is not over, folks. 
And that was, well, yeah, that was a ham sandwich of a match. You can already say that, but I forget. Uh, that was raw. Really, it was actually, for the most part, entertaining. I can't really fault raw for that. The matches were okay. Some parts made better sense than others. Overall, I'd have to say, Raw was a cheeseburger. And I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Um, if I haven't mentioned your name yet or haven't given you your video de dedication yet, trust me, I will. I just have to get stuff done. I'll see everyone Tuesday. Uh, be safe, all those out there in, Florida, in southern Florida. Yes. Enjoy your hurricane parties. Bye.